All right, guys, so before we had seen how the outside back was just never um, really engaged with the outside midfielder or striker or whoever, they would usually just retreat and go towards the, the middle um, of the 18-yard box. And now you can see post-patch, they're reacting to where the ball is and reacting um, to mark the player and to kind of face up against them. So that's a definite improvement. Um, you know, I was a big stickler about this because it was so easy just to play down the sides the whole time. Now you can see they're much more engaged. Um, see, even though I beat him, he's still not giving up and makes a good play. So little things like that. Um, in addition, uh, one of the big issues I always have is how many players are left up in the midfield. So we look at my team and I see Breda in the yellow. Um, decent amount of players still there. Um, but we're not seeing big amounts. We're not seeing seven to eight players in the midfield, to, you know, because of how, um, concerning how advanced uh, the ball is, uh, where it's located. So before you'd see a clump of seven to eight players just to there at the midfield. And so this has already improved. Um, going to keep looking at a uh, nice a little foul right here. Advantage from the referee. Just kind of a bad touch, but it worked out in the end here. Just going to jump into a replay. Always a good sign to get something like that going. So. Um, let's jump into the replay here and here the ball is just cleared I like that they're contesting this as well there's a lot more awareness defensively that I can see um, because usually you'd have this at the top of the box all day first time shot you know like PES 2011 um, but this is a lot better so here contesting kind of a unnecessary challenge there could have just backed off and let it play you see the referee there giving the advantage and we couldn't get control of the ball so we got the foul so positive and stuff another there. thing here that i've noticed as well um could be a small thing but once you realize it it actually makes a big difference the goal kicks are actually reaching past the halfway mark um they're not just hitting these little dinks um you know that are short um or to the side very often this is one that is actually to the side but it gets past the halfway line um, and it's a decent little goal kick. I've seen them go further than that, um, you know, in the middle and to, you know, just to make it a loose ball, not just a direct pass like this one. Um, but that's definitely, you know, a good improvement. All right, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows with the patch update, but um, in particular, this is one of those things that didn't make it um, uh, into the update is seeing how the defensive line starts to back off the second the forward receives the ball. I know you can make the adjustment with advanced instructions and you know put tight marking on, um, but that's you know you can't control the computer's setup. But you can see that's something that the center back should just be stepping on, or at least you know giving uh, you know just making their presence known here. And so this is a little thing just like that. That can make a big difference. Um, anytime a ball is passed, you know, to a forward like that, they sh they should be contested. Um, you know, a, a defender's is always trying to make themselves, um, you know, have their presence be felt. So, um, but just a little thing. Hopefully, uh, you know, as you get into master leagues and competitions, because this is just an exhibition example, um, kickoff mode, if you will. Um, you know, hopefully on those certain levels um, they're going to react a little bit better but overall I think the defensive awareness is significantly improved um, and I'll show a couple more examples and here's another good example of the um, amount of proper amount of players um, near the halfway mark um, if you see it here the defensive midfielders they're just guarding the forward as they should um, and considering the ball is all the way up the pitch like that so that is absolutely perfect that's exactly what you want to see. Um, you're still going to see the um, attack defense levels, um, instant retreat, instant attack. That's still part of it. It's not crazy. Um, there's the attention to the loose ball is actually kind of a cool play here. How the goalkeeper uh, makes that little save there. Um, but overall, the attention to the ball is just a lot better. Um, there's a lot more attention to the ball here in this patch update. So. Still very yet popular. another good example here is the big thing with pass pre-patch was how the, the CPU loved to just send the ball long over the top and forward, forward, forward. This is a great little move right here. He gets out of um, out of pressure, 
instead of passing the ball forward, which is a super obvious pass right there, he just decides to reset and, and pass it to somebody who's a little bit more open. Um, and here he's now, instead of sending a long ball over the top, he actually dribbles and then sends a nice ball to feet. The forward passes it first time back, midfielder back, a couple first time passes, really nice there. And here I kind of screwed this up, but it looks like it's gonna go out of bounds, but just little plays like that are just the things that we're missing. Um, and the things that made Pess um, pre patch so very samey. Everything just felt just kind of frustrating because it was just forward, forward, long pass, long pass. And now this, this is looking so much better. Just little things like this can get you back and engrossed and understand, hey, there's team tactics involved here. Um, you know, there's not really a tactical rigidness either. It's just kind of the flow of the match. And, and this is against Boca, you know, so they're a good possession team um, and smart team, of course. And so this is a really nice little um, intricate play there. So hopefully we can see more. And here's just another example of how um, the defensive awareness has improved. Playing down the sides used to be very OP, very samey. And here, while we're successful in getting down the down the sides, I love how the tracking back here of the midfielder now cuts back and goes to the ball. That forces me to make the pass early, which is fine. But I love that because they don't just go and run with the the runner there. Now they actually understand. Okay, my you know my my uh, outside back there has position. So I'm going to hand off the player as I step forward. And so that's pure, just perfect um, defensive logic there. Um, you know, initially he could have gone a little early and, and the you know, fullback step up, but that's, you know, that's being a little too um, specific or a little, probably a little too picky. But overall, a definite improvement here of just how he switches, switches off. Um, and you know, they're not man to man. It's a nice zonal look and a good step up. And you can see all the players on the other side as well. Pess is really doing well here, keeping the shape um, and the defensive awareness. So much improved. And you can see right here, the outside back continues to contest. They don't run back into that center back spot as well. So fantastic. All right, and this is another good example of the players properly building numbers in the attack. So this is the computer here, Boca Juniors. Um, and you can see where the ball is and relative to where the ball is, the players are in great position, building numbers defensively for, for uh, the user and then building numbers in attack for the CPU. And thus, you know, leaving just the center backs there to, to face the forward and um, support there as well. So really nice. Now you're not seeing, again, seven to eight players at the midfield like we were seeing um, pre-patch and E3 video and all that stuff. And so, um, you know, that makes perfect sense now. Now you're going to see a lot reduced space, um, which is exactly what this game needed to create more physicality, more fouls and more variety. So overall, really good. Um, patch update on the gameplay side of things. Um, going to continue. Look some at things more that things. still aren't fixed, and it probably wasn't even requested. Um, I think I've been singing this song for a couple of years, so I don't think it will be fixed. Um, but the instant retreat and instant attack, um, you see here. This is the user side, of course. Here we've still got a chance. Sends a ball in. Good effort here. But look, look how as soon as this ball is now possessed and it's still in a threatening position, but look at all my players still running away. One, two, three, four, five, six, about five guys that were in, you know, in the thick of things, and then all of a sudden they decide to run away. So th that's something I think that's just built in uh, within PES. Um, FIFA does it too, so um, it's just one of those things I think uh, gameplay-wise they need to look into for the future in terms of the logic, but um, you know, the, I can't expect that to be fixed because it really wasn't um, considered or didn't get much momentum in. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's still one of the issues, but you know, not a game breaker. By All right, means. guys. So overall, um, I feel like the patch update's really been pretty fantastic. Um, good amount of defensive awareness all throughout the pitch, including your teammate AI. Um, the computer is definitely not feeling um, just kind of like a pushover defensively and not playing very samey like they were before um, either. So a lot of a lot of positive. Um, I think you can definitely get a lot better, but 
if this is the start of uh, Konami uh, developers in Japan listening to us, um, you know, and, and listening to Adam and Asim based on the feedback we give them, um, I think we're on the right track. Um, this is definitely a lot more enjoyable. Um, I probably shouldn't be winning against Arsenal here uh, as my beloved Fulham as they've been terrible this season. But at the same time, I'm just looking at the radar. I can see how much tighter everything is, um, how closer together players are, um, which is allowing um, you know space to be um, properly used. Um, you know, and it's a it's a really nice uh, feel to it. Um, I'll have to jump into some master leagues um, and some you know league competition just to see how competition plays compared to um, you know just an exhibition kickoff mode here. Um, but overall, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying the update here. Um, I didn't think I'd be playing PES again, or at least thinking about it, but um, seeing the way the computer's playing, not super samey, and having a lot more um, defensive awareness, um, understanding positioning a little bit better, a lot of positive there. Um, still need some work in some areas that I've already talked about, but overall, like I said, very positive uh, start uh, to hopefully um, some things they can shore up uh, later down the road. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, let me know if you think I should jump into a Master League that I could, should uh, start broadcasting or um, probably documenting um, if this gets really good. So um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, take care and stay tuned and building it up that way. Used it from values under 50 um, and found that the defensive line is a little too passive. The computer will beat you with through balls um, past your fullbacks and, and that'll be it. Um, the same goes for the computer's defense as well. So had it at 50, felt it was a tad conservative relative to the custom team tactics and the type of team you're playing um, and then found the sweet spot at 52. I would say if you raise this, you've really got to be careful